Right, hello and welcome and good afternoon uh, to one of my winter walking films. Today I'm in a place called Hellsby and basically we're going to have a walk around uh, Hellsby Hill and then move over to a place called Frodsham. So it should be around about 10 or 11k. I've had to really leave it late today because of the cloud. I hope we can see something. Um, but basically it's woodland uh, mixed in with some sandstone hills. So really looking forward to it. So you just come out of the car park basically and ignore that road. We're just going to take a left and walk down here around about 400 metres. Okay, so after about 400 metres we just come to this sign here for Hellsby Hill Middle Walk and we're going to follow that for about a kilometre. As you can see, as I say, we're walking around the base of Hellsby Hill, which, as I say, is sort of a huge sandstone plateau. So uh, we will get up there at the end. So looking forward to that. But uh, it's a really nice day. Just catching sight of the top up there. That's impressive. Very impressive. Now, getting some lovely stillness here today. But basically, that noise in the background. Is the M56 and there are limits to what I can do for shutting things up so as I say just to give you an idea we're basically at the bottom of the Wirral so uh, near the rivers Mersey and Weaver as I say they uh, uh, join together so um, as I say I've genuinely never been here before so I'm really excited it is starting to lift fingers crossed it's a really good path this Absolutely super. Right, one and a half k in, about 25 minutes, and we just come to this junction here, and basically we're just going to take a left to join the road. Right, so we just get to the road here, and we're just going to take a right, not very far. And then we just come to the sign here, only about 50 yards, and we're just going to go down here until we pick up a footpath. Right, just after about 300 metres or so, we just come to the sign on the left, and we're just going to go down here to Woodhouses and Frodsham. It's really well done, this, really well done. Um, just through this gate and just straight ahead and through the little gap in the hedge. I was like this in my back garden. Hmm. Granted if I had a back garden, but oh, this is really nice. <laughs> right, after about half a kilometre, only about ten minutes or so, we just come to this small lane and we just keep going straight ahead. Just got to the end of the lane. It's very quiet actually. <laughs> We're just taking a left, and there is a signpost just middle of the shot, uh, 50 yards ahead. We're going to take a right. Middle of the shot there. Huge buzzard. Okay, just at the top of the lane, we just come to this gate, and we're going to take a left. Picked another beautifully still day. <laughs> but anyway, we're just going to follow this for approximately about one kilometre. So we're just about 3k in, and I'd say just under an hour, but I've really been taking my time. I'm getting really arty today, but uh, it's a subtlety that I'm really enjoying. This is someone's back garden, by the way. <laughs> yeah, wow. Oh, I like this. Not the climbing mine, but oh, it's really pretty. That's really nice. Someone's even sanded the steps. So, anyway, we just come to here and we're going to go off to the right now. Um, it's about 4.2k. 
just under an hour and a half and I'm really really enjoying this right after about just over an hour and 40 uh, we just get to the signpost here uh, we're about four and a half K in and basically there's two options you can either go up something called Jacob's Ladder which is in front of us which I think I'm gonna have a crack at or as I say you can get up to the same point and there are some steps in the middle of the shot just going up that way right just be wary it's a little bit slippy and uh, just getting my usual mild bit of vertigo uh, let's carry on hey I tell you what that's not bad at all <laughs> uh, I do admit a mild bit of trepidation there and thinking, oh, I'll just go and do the steps instead. I think that's what you call middle age. Anyway, here we are, just approaching the top. Right, we get to the top here and basically there's a golf course. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, so you can do a bit of a loop around there, but where we're going to go is left to the top of Frodsham Hill. Right, so we just, just get to the sign here and basically what we're going to do is take a left and it should be about... Uh, 500 meters or so to uh, the special memorial. And this is a monument to people who died in World War One or Two on Beacon Hill. I think that's a, a fitting view for those brave people. Right, so 5.5k done, as I say, just over two hours. And basically, middle of the shot in the haze, but that's Helsby Hill. We're going to see if we can get there before it gets dark. But as I say, whole new place for me, really enjoying it. Not a lot I could do about the cloud this morning, but uh, I'm having terrific fun. In the middle of winter it just feels really bright up here, just really fresh, it's absolutely fantastic. I do advise uh, boots by the way because I just nearly went arse over tit over this uh, <laughs> drop here. So as I say you can climb up just as I did just up that Jacob's ladder down there. Or you can do the sensible thing and take the steps, I'm going to take the steps on the way back. It was quite exciting going up there, actually. Oi. Right, anyway, that's this spot. And we're going to follow the sandstone trail for about a kilometre or so. And basically, we're just going to come back down uh, above that lane where we saw the buzzard. I'm almost wondering if it's better to uh, come here in, uh, in the winter. It's incredible. We're just walking along the plateau at the moment, it must be about 115 metres up. So, really spectacular. Right, two and a half hours just over that in. Um, and we just come to the viewpoint that I just showed you. As I say, it's absolutely lovely. Uh, what we're going to do though, is not take the left. We're going to go straight on here for about another 500 metres. Right, we just come to the junction and we're gonna go down. Phew, just lost, honestly, there, about 200 feet in about two minutes, no joke. That was great fun, very perilous. But anyway, we are back here again. So we're gonna follow our steps back uh, for about a kilometre. So we're literally following the route back that we did, as I say, for about a kilometre. So just down Chestnut Lane here. Back through the nice back garden and back through here. Trust me, this is going to be worth it. And we take a right here, okay, and just a left here. Can't believe how quick I'm walking. I'll give you the stats in a minute, but honestly, this feels like blooming 
Anna Carice's treasure hunt. Do you remember that? And she had like one minute 47 to go and like about a mile in the helicopter. You know, and, and she still manages to make it. Well, this is kind of what this is like. So we're just approaching where? Blum heck. Uh, <laughs> Look, I'm going to get to this summit. Okay, right, we can see the sign. We can see the sign. We are going for... Oh. <laughs> we're going for Hellsbury Hill. And we're going for a view with sun in it. Okay, let's go for it. Blowing it. Ooh. Two minutes. About... <coughs> 100 feet. Got to be done, though. We're going to get this view. Uh, I have lost a stone, actually, during a dry January. And I'll tell you what, I'm damn glad I have. But come on, let's go. Let's go and get this view, because as I say, I'll tell you what, you know what, really, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed this, even if we are rather rushing at the end. But uh, so we just came down that path, and we're going to go up here. We will. Oh my gosh. Right in the middle of the shot there is Beacon Hill, which we were at one hour ago, and 5.2 kilometres, God in many. <sighs> Do you know what though? Absolutely loved it, absolutely loved it. So uh, we've got eight minutes of uh, daylight left, so let's go and check out the view. Oh wow. And there's a trick. Stone. Brilliant. Job done. Job done. Whoa. Day, what a day! Right, just to give you a couple of timings that was three and three quarter hours, and it was nine and a half K. We've just got over about half a K just back to the car. Um, so, as I say, it's been just somewhere really, really different again. And in the winter, I'm sure it's going to be cracking in the summer. I've really certainly enjoyed this today, so uh, it should be about 10 minutes back to the car. And which way do we go back? Well, just basically, we're just going off to the left, so we just follow along the uh, cliff top. To be honest, barely about six or seven minutes. We just come to these two gates, just through this one, and straight down the road here. And here we are, just take the left. And we're back at the car park of Hellsby Quarry. And we're back. I love these half-lit end of films. <laughs> anyway, right, so, three and a half hours, um, that was 10k. And this was an interesting one, nearly 440 metres of climbing done there. And the highest point we got to was 140 uh, metres, so that was terrific. So, um, thank you very much uh, for coming with me to... Hellsby Hill and to Beacon Hill around Frodsham. I hope uh, you enjoy the film as much as I did making it. As I say, again, I'm trying to do some really different things and as I say, if I can enjoy it as much as I have in the middle of winter, I'm sure it's going to be absolutely cracking at any other time of year. So uh, thanks again for coming with me and uh, hope to see you on another film soon.